Hi, Pastor Mark here with one more thing. This week, shooting from my office because every room in the church is being used for Vacation Bible School. We're having a fantastic week, decorations, kids everywhere, volunteers. So just wanted to share something brief with you this week, and it's on the heels of the message Sunday on Father's Day. And what I have for you today is just simply the story of an old legend about a Cherokee man who had a young son. And as his son was maturing, he came to a point in his life where the dad wanted to make sure that his son was ready to go into adulthood. And so as part of a rite of passage, what this Cherokee Indian did was he took his son out into the forest and he went into a clearing where there was a stump. And he had his son sit on the stump in the evening, and he told his son what he was going to do. He said, I'm going to blindfold you, and I want you to sit here on this stump all through the night. And you have to prove that you're going to trust what I'm telling you to do if you really want to be able to make it into adulthood and to be considered a man. And so with that, the young boy agreed and the father blindfolded his young son, sat him on the stump, and said, when the morning light comes, you can take your blindfold off, but trust me, you will be all right. And so with that, the father blindfolded the son, and the son began to sit there on the stump. Well, as the night chill began to come in, the young boy's muscles in his legs cramped, he squirmed on the stump. As darkness fell and the sounds of the night in the forest began to get louder and louder, he could hear coyotes howling off in the distance. He heard the owls hooting in the trees. He heard the rustle of leaves and he became really scared because he wasn't sure what type of animal might be lurking, but he just remembered, I've got to trust what my father told me to do. And so after a long, agonizing night, finally the morning came and he felt the warmth of the sun on the top of his head and on his face. And so he was relieved to be able to remove his blindfold. And when he removed his blindfold, to his amazement, there in the clearing, sitting on another stump, was his father, who had been sitting with him the entire night watching over him to make sure he was safe. Now that might seem like a silly story to some of you, but it really is an indication, an example of how God wants us to learn to trust Him in our lives. When we might not feel His presence, when we're going through a difficult time with an illness or a troubled time, and we might think, God, where are you? God is right there with us, watching over us. We need to learn to trust Him because when God is silent, it doesn't mean that he's not at work, and it doesn't mean that he doesn't care for us. So remember that when you're going through a, a difficult time. And in fact, one of the ways that God works for us when we're going through difficult times is he works through people. His Holy Spirit working in the lives of others to come alongside and help us through a difficult time. There's a scripture verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 4, that says this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of all mercies and comfort, who comforts us in all of our tribulation so that we in turn might be able to comfort others when they're going through difficult times. Now I'm paraphrasing that, but what that verse reminds us is that God works through people and as God works through people to help us and we receive that comfort in our distress, even when we're not sure, God, where are you? Why is this happening to me? Why are you letting this happen? When we trust God and receive help from others, then he also is preparing us to help someone else that's going through a similar type of problem in life. So I hope that will encourage you again on the heels of Father Day, Father's Day and with Vacation Bible School this week. A little story there as a reminder of God's love for us, even when we feel all alone. God bless you.